Let's see if we can compute the magnitude, which is also known as the norm or the length of these two vectors listed right here. So we'll start with vector v, which is the vector negative 5, comma, 8. And you'll recall that if you want to take its magnitude, you'll put double absolute value bars around it. And since this is in component form, we'll take a big square root of the first component squared plus the second component squared. And just be careful with your algebra. Don't make silly mistakes like um, leaving negative 5 squared negative. When you square negative 5, you actually get positive 25, as you know. Um, also, don't forget to square the negative 5 and the 8. It's not just negative 5 plus 8. We actually have to square these quantities here. So we'll have big square root of 25 plus 64, which will be the square root of 89. And we should try to simplify that if possible, but I don't think this one simplifies, so we'll just leave it like that. This is the length or the magnitude of vector v. All right, let's do the same thing with vector w. The magnitude of w would be the square root of 7 squared plus negative 1 squared. So we get the square root of 49. 7 squared is 49. Negative 1 squared is 1. And that would be the square root of 50. Now this actually does simplify because 50, as you know, is 25 times 2. And so if you took the square root of 50, that's the same thing as taking the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. So the magnitude of w would actually be 5 root 2, 5 root 2 once you simplify that radical.